Well, a fine good evening, everyone. This is Patricia, and I am traveling for history. I'm in Stowe, Vermont today, and the subject of today's video is this covered bridge right here in front of us. Let's take a look see at the brook below first. This is the Gold Brook here in Stowe. You know how it got its name? They found gold in it. I love easy peasy stories like that. I love this view right here. It's really lovely. All right, but we're here for the bridge. So let me tell you about it. Since the name of the brook is Gold Brook, what do you suppose the name of the covered bridge is? Ding, ding, ding. This is the Gold Brook Covered Bridge, also known as the Stowe Hollow Bridge or even Emily's Bridge. And uh, I'll have a separate video on Emily's Bridge. This is a small wooden covered bridge here in Stowe, Vermont, carrying Covered Bridge Road over Gold Brook. Such original names are places around here. Built in 1844, it is the only 19th century covered bridge in the state, built using wooden hound trusses and carrying a public roadway. It was added to the National Register of Historic Places in 1974. Holy cow, that was a UPS truck. I mean, it does say right at the top, no trucks or buses allowed per order of the selectmen. A big imposing front there. And see? That UPS truck just barely fit through here. Holy cow. All right, some more history of the place before we do the walkthrough. The Goldbrook Covered Bridge is located in the Stone Hollow area of southeastern Stowe, carrying Covered Bridge Road across Goldbrook just north of a junction with Gold Brick Road and Stowe Hollow Road. Google Maps will get you right here, though. The bridge is a single-span how truss, 48 and a half feet or 14.8 meters long, and 17 feet or 5.2 meters wide, with a roadway width of 13 and a half feet or 4.1 meters. With a roadway width of 13 and a half feet or 4.1 meters, it is covered so this is a one leg covered bridge. It's covered by a gabled metal roof and rests on dry laid stone abutments. And we can see the stone abutments right there. The exterior is sheathed in vertical board siding which extends most of the way to the eaves, leaving a narrow strip open at the top. The siding extends around the portals and a short way to their insides. The bridge decking is wooden planking. And we can see the uh, vertical board siding right there. We can see how it doesn't go all the way to the top. So there is some light that is let in. You can see it better on this side. Uh, not, the, not as much the vertical board siding, although you can see how it does extend inside. And then those are the the windows available. Those those would never have had glass, and they certainly don't now either. The bridge was built about 1844 by John W. Smith, and is the state's only surviving example of a how truss in timber on a public roadway. It is also a comparatively early example of the truss type in general. The How Truss was patented in 1840. It is furthermore the only surviving 19th century covered bridge in the town of Stowe. The Gold Brick Covered Bridge was featured as one of the haunted locations on the paranormal TV series Most Terrifying Places in America episode titled Cursed Towns, which aired on the Travel Channel in 2018. I'll tell you that story more in depth, by the way, when uh, I'm filming Emily's story. So, 
so this is the Goldbrook Covered Bridge, and let's see if I can walk through it before I'm getting run over by someone. And then my ghost will be added to hers, and maybe they'll change the name to Patricia's Bridge instead. We can hope, right? Yeah. Note that this side is all dirt. And uh, it's mainly paved on the other side. Alrighty. You can see the uh, beautiful planking right there. People have left notes. I love the decorative element at the top there. It's quite nice, don't you think? So why a covered bridge? I know you wonder about that. And it's a covered bridge to keep the weather off of the boards. If you have no cover on it, in 20 years time the wooden planks rot and uh, it no longer matters. But if you have a cover over the bridge, a roof over the bridge, well then you get a hundred years out of the uh, covered bridge. So it's a good idea to use to use the covered bridge. It's not just uh, because we love them and they're beautiful and all that stuff. Heck no. Oops. There's a speed limit on this bridge too. Speed limit. Horses at a walk. Motor vehicles 10 miles per hour. <laughs> How fun is that? The bridge has a weight limit of 4,000 pounds, by the way. I think this is a lovely covered bridge. You know what's interesting too, as I, I noticed just now, is that it has this um, Greek Revival style-esque look about it. I mean, 1844 is around the time of uh, Greek Revival style here in Vermont. And uh, you have the pediment, which is the gable end of the roof. And uh, these pieces that stick out. Anyway, that's what it reminds me of. What do you think? And here's another one, a little bit more of the uh, Goldbrook itself. Let's uh, take one more walk through, since I parked on the other side. Take one more better look of Goldbrook right here. Like a bit of a whirlpool right there, eh? Well, I don't see any cars coming, so we're going to go through. We have a, a bolt right there, so if this needed tightening at all, it'd just be a matter of tightening up the bolts. Some carnations left behind. Don't think I can show you quite down there. That's unfortunate. And I'm walking faster because it's a car coming. And there is more of Gold Book down here. Alrighty. Well, this is Patricia and I'm traveling for history. I hope you enjoyed today's video on the Goldbrook Covered Bridge here in Stowe, Vermont. It's, uh, it's such a wonderful place. Really enjoy it. I love the sound of the brook and um, I think it's a lovely covered bridge to boot. But until I see you again, I hope you have a fabulous night. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.